so in the process of creating this uh, stylized landscape in unreal engine the first part is developing the landscape material which has two colors one is this brown color kind of represents the soil and another green color uh, that represents the grass area so from the green area you will see the grass spawns grass measure size spawned and not from the brown area and also in the distance as you can see here the color is uniform you don't see brown patches in the distance you only see the green so that's because I have blended a green color with the distance to the landscape material and yeah that's what I am going to do today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me right so this is what we have at the moment so let's start changing the material of this grass so this is the grass mesh and this is the actual grass texture that I have so right let's create a new material for the grass let's uh, start from scratch material let's call it M grass cell shader and I'll create an instance of this cell shaded grass and add set it as the material of this grass right now as you can see you don't see anything because I haven't created this material yet so first okay I showed you the texture of this grass I'll drag and drop it here and yeah let's create the basic I'll set the shared in model sorry blend mode to masked and connect the alpha channel opacity mask like this so yeah let's wait until the shader is compiled okay so this is how it looks now but I don't really need this details on the grass because I am going for a cell shaded look so I only need a color so I'll disconnect this and promote this to a parameter let's call it grass color and I'll select this color I can pick that color like this and yeah let's apply now as you can see here the details are gone there is only a color but we have the shape because we have connected the opacity mask now as you can see this side is too dark compared to this side that's because the light is over there the directional light the main directional light is over there and the planes that is the faces that is in the opposite side of the direction light don't get the light but uh, that does not look very good it's okay when I look it that way but not okay when I look at this way 
and also you can see when I go over here just look at this mesh this plane that is vanished so to get rid of that we can do this we can set the shading model to two-sided foliage mm, and also I have enabled this two-sided option not necessarily this one yeah I'll keep it default lit only enable this one right and let's see okay now I can see the grass plane from both sides like this but, but still this problem is here so to get rid of that we will need to do something else let's change this to two sided foliage and then you can see this subsurface color is again enabled so let's set the subsurface color also to this color and see how it looks okay it looks like this now so pretty much similar in both sides yeah this looks much better actually we can do I think uh, I'm gonna stop this episode at this point and in the next episode I'll show you how to add wind the directional wind to this uh, grass mesh that we have working on I have been working on and thanks for watching so if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.